The following tutorial is a sample video from a full course. To watch the entire course and many others, please visit digitaltutors.com to find hundreds of other free videos or sign up for a subscription and experience our entire library. Let's begin this process by taking a look at the interface of Cinema 4D. So as we open up Cinema 4D, uh, if we've worked in any 3D applications before, you'll notice some similarities here. We've got a main menu area up here at the top consisting of a menu of text up here that we can scroll through and find a number of functions lying underneath those. The first two you'll see are very familiar, file and edit. File is going to allow us to manipulate our scene files. So create new files, open files. Also, in Cinema 4D, you can have multiple scene files open at one time, so we have the ability to close files if we need to close those out, okay? And also the ability to save our files and export as well, okay? So we have a number of options up here, and we'll talk about some of the specifics uh, options in the menu as we go along this process. Right underneath the menu, uh, we have a command palette up here which has some commonly used functionality. We've got undo, we've got our different uh, types of selection that we can choose from. You can see the little arrow in here indicates that I can click and hold on this to select different items. Okay, And then we've got our moving, our scaling, rotating. Okay, We've got the different axes here. Now you'll notice in, if I click and drag between these groupings of icons, I can actually scroll this across. So if you're working with limited screen space as we are, you can actually move that to see all of the different uh, command groups of icons here. And you can see the little triangle. This indicates that we have a number of different options underneath that particular icon. Okay, so uh, a lot of functionality is going to be located here. This is for our rendering. These are for our objects, generators, uh, deformers, all of these things that we want to bring into our scene. Okay, now on the left hand side you'll notice another command palette. Uh, this gives us the ability when we're working with our models to work with the model as a whole or we can work with the individual pieces of our model uh, like the points, the edges, the polygons and so forth. So that's going to be located over here on the side. Also the pivot. Um, and then if we have a primitive object that we want to turn into a, a polygon object we have this button up right up here. Now right above that, at the very top of this command palette, we have a button for choosing our layouts. Now we have special layouts here just because of the screen size that we've got. Uh, you'll have your own custom layouts for uh, UV editing, 3D painting, and you can kind of see how those differ a little bit if I kind of scroll through those. And so the layout, uh, the uh, interface that you have is very customizable and you can go through and you know move things around and you can tear off uh, different uh, pieces and put them in different areas. You can see in the menu if I want to just tear this off, click on that, and I can move it around and so I have access to that at all times. Okay, so very customizable. Now here in the center, you'll notice we have our 3D view, our editor view, and then we also have an editor menu on the top of this. So we have, again, more functionality associated with the, the 3D view that we'll talk about uh, a little bit later. We also have some navigation buttons up here on the top right side. Now off to the right hand side of the interface, you'll see that we have our objects manager. So there are a number of different managers within our 3D our, uh, Cinema 4D uh, interface. And so the, the managers are going to help us do different things. The objects manager is going to take care of all of the things that we put into our scene. Uh, Cinema 4D works with a hierarchy. Uh, based approach with working with generators and creating objects that way using deformers and things like that. So all of that is going to be located here in our objects manager. And we'll take a look at some specific examples of what that's going to look like, but that's located right over here. And there's the objects tab uh, here. Uh, next going down is the attributes manager. And the attributes manager is going to allow us to uh, change different attributes of the objects that we create. So if we create an object, a, a primitive, we're going to be able to change the attributes of that primitive down here in our attributes manager, as well as you know, creating NURBS objects and connecting things up. That's all going to take place down here in our attributes manager. Next to this, going back to the left, we have the coordinates manager, which is pretty self-explanatory. It kind of keeps track of all our uh, the coordinates of our objects within 3D space. 
And then we have our materials manager, which allows us to create new materials, modify those materials, and just keep track of all the materials in our scenes. Right above that, we have the animation toolbar with a power bar right here. And this is going to give us our playback controls, the ability to, to uh, look at our keys that we have, uh, any keys on our animation, and then other animation controls coming over here uh, along the right-hand side. We can look at our range, our frame range, and so forth. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward as far as the interface goes. So as we continue through this process, we're going to talk about some of the different uh, kinds of objects that we can create, some of the ways that we can add materials, animation. The idea is really uh, just to kind of get you familiar with Cinema 4D, not necessarily go through a, an entire project, but just get you up to speed on some of the terminology that's used and uh, and just so you can kind of move around a little bit more comfortably. Okay, and so uh, if there are any, there are actually uh, a number of Cinema 4D packages that you can get. Some have functionality that others may not have. So if there's any question along the way uh, as far as uh, what version has what type of a tool, uh, you can go always go to the Maxon website. And you can see that here we have a number of different versions that you can get. Not really versions, but packages, feature packages. And so we've got Prime, Broadcast, Visualize, and then Studio, which basically has everything. And at any time, you can go into project, Product Comparison, and that'll give you an indication here of what's actually included in each of those different packages. Okay, so there'll be a few things that maybe aren't included in a couple of these uh, packages. So you can check that out here if there's any question as far as what uh, version or what package is going to contain uh, any of the tools. So that's a valuable resource as you go through and, and start your journey with Cinema 4D. Okay, so uh, now that we've sort of looked around the interface a bit, let's go ahead in the next lesson and concentrate here on our 3D view on our editor window right here. And so we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at that starting in the next lesson.